Revan, get up here. Revan, hey look, today Coach Mitchell is going to teach you how to jam playing at your cornerback position because we need to, to learn how to jam receivers and steer and drive them out of bounds. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to do this. There's a lot of important reasons on why the defense does this because it gives us advantages on defense. If we can take the receivers and we can jam them at the line of scrimmage, keeping them from slanting inside and running the slant because that causes a lot of problems for us, we want to take them and prevent the slant so the cornerback needs to be one step inside. That takes away that slant. And then when the receiver comes off the line, you press, jam, and then you steer and drive him out of bounds. Once you get that receiver out of bounds, then the receiver now is ineligible. If he comes back in play, he still has to wait till that ball, if thrown to him, it must be touched by a defensive player or an offensive player. Once it's touched by one of them, then that guy who you ran out of bounds, that receiver, can now catch it again. Otherwise, if he catches it, it's illegal. It's an incomplete play, they'll probably get a penalty also for it, okay? So do you understand what we're going to be doing here today, Rayvon? Yes, sir. All right, Rayvon, I want you to be the receiver. I'm going to demonstrate what the cornerback should do. You pay attention, and then you'll do it. So, Rayvon, you over here. Rayvon, that white line is the out-of-bounds line. Okay, now, remember Coach Mitchell told you, I'm going to lock up on you at the corner. I'm on the receiver. Now I'm going to take one step inside because I'm going to take that slant away. I don't want you to do that. That slant's going to hurt us. All right, here we go. This side's going to look. We're going to walk through it. So I want you walking and just flowing with me as I take you where I want to go. On hut, on hut. Ready? Hut. I jam. Now I turn, steer, and I drive you out of bounds. Now you're out of bounds. I retract and get back in my cornerback position so I'm back in position so I can play my outside keys. Got it? That's what we're going to do. Let's do it again so that you can understand. Here we go. On the hike, inside, remember Ray Vaughn, you inside, taking away the slack. On the hike, hike, step, steer, and jam, out of bounds, retract, get back in position. Good, that's what you do. Go ahead. I'm the receiver, you're in the corner. What's the first thing you're supposed to do as you step? Why are you taking in the inside? Okay, good, all right. On the hike, I'm gonna walk. You gotta jam, you gotta step up, jam, and steer. Ready, hike. Now retreat. Okay, Ray Vaughn, I noticed that on your retreat, your retreat was a little slow. Maybe you had forgotten about the retreat. Remember, one inside, take away the slant. Jam, steer, drop, retreat. That's it, Ray Vaughn, because the reason why you got to get back in position because when you're steering out of bounds, your area is now open. But your linebacker here, he helps you because he drops deeper because of what you're doing. And then when you come back, you yell red, 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 and he knows to go back and reposition because you regain yours. So now you understand? Okay, here we go. Let's walk through it again. Let's see if you can do all the parts right. Here we go. On the height. Height. Ready, ready, ready. Good job, Ray Vaughn. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Now, now, any questions on any of this right here? Do you understand why we're inside? Tell me, talk. Take away the slant route and retreat back to help the defense. Okay, so the inside step is to take away the slant route. Good job. Now, once you take that away, then why are you, why is your hand on my chest? We call it what? Steering. So, why are your hands on my chest? Steer. So put them there. Steer. That's it. The process of steering is to turn the body around. So, get over here. And here's how we steer. Walk, jam, steer. Just like you're driving a car. Turning it. Alright, good. So that's why we steer. You understand why we gotta get them out of bounds? Because we take that man away, now they have 10. Offense got 11 players, defense got 11. You take him out of bounds, they're down to 10 because he's ineligible until somebody touches the ball. If we do the same thing on the other side, now they got nine. If we take the two tight ends, throw them down over their tackles, now they lost two more, they're down to seven. So we playing 11 against seven, advantage should be where? Defense. 
That's it. So let's walk through it again. Let's see if you remember. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to go. I want you to tell me and work. Do the whole step. You don't have to talk. You ready, Ray Vaughn? Everybody, Ray Vaughn's ready. Let's pay attention, guys. Let's make sure that Ray Vaughn is doing technique right. Here we go. Good job, Ray Vaughn. Good job. Guys, did everybody see that? Now let's flip the script. Let's make sure that Ray Vaughn has a full understanding. Here we go. Last one. Last one. Set. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Ray Vaughn, I'm inside. Hey! Back up. He forgot. Get back. Ray Vaughn, you are a receiver. My bad. On me. Set. Hey! Jam, steer, and turn. Good job. All right, get back up here. Now come up here. Ray Vaughn, that's awesome. Tell Coach Mitchell, do you think learning this year will benefit you as a cornerback and will also benefit the defense when we are trying to stop the offense from moving the ball? Yes, it will benefit a lot by eliminating one player and helping the defense. Okay, guys, Ray Vaughn said yes, it will. He said that what it's going to do is by eliminating one player, it gives advantage to his defense because now they won down on this side and they still got 11, so it's 10 against 11. Same thing happens on the other side, then the vice versa. So the more offensive player that they lose, advantage defense, because they still got all day players who are eligible. Ravon, in closing, the most important thing is to remember is you have to talk on defense. You have to call the red, because what the red does is it makes the linebacker reposition himself. And when he does that, then he gets back where he belongs and everything. And everybody flows back into the original spot we started before we ran through this drill and before the receiver released off the ball. Ray, Ray Vaughn, their offense, those young kids, they don't know that. Now, their coaches know this, but those kids, more than likely, they don't know that. And if we are taking advantage of that, then that helps us in tonight's ball game gives us an opportunity to be more successful if everybody does their job. Ray Vaughn, that's an awesome job, son. I want you to remember that. And if, and if I walk away for any other reason to go talk with Coach over there, and you see some of the other teammates forgetting some steps, I want y'all to help one another share the steps. Go over them, go look at it. Because y'all job is to teach one another. Now, teach Coach Mitchell. Let's go, one more time. Good job. Good job. Boy. Alright guys. Good job. The first thing we're going to do is called three line passing. We're going to do it without a ball first just so everyone knows what they're doing, okay? The middle line, all three of you guys are going to be running at the same time. The middle line passes to the right, the right passes back. The middle line passes to the left, the left passes back all the way down the court. Does everyone understand? Alright, you act like you have a ball. Pretend. Go. Good job. Next group, go. Stop and y'all get down there. Go. Good job. Go ahead. Next group. Go ahead, next group. Good job.
then roll over your right shoulder, okay? And then land, okay? Everyone understand? Does everyone understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, get back in line. All right, first people up. Back out with your dominant foot. Make the cookie, bend over. Make the cookie and go. Good job. Oh, Brandon. Good job. Good job. Go ahead, Nate. Brandon, come see. Yes. 
Okay, so let me have one. Okay, does anybody else have extra? Does anyone just have two spots? Okay, we're supposed to have three. So we're missing two scarves. Good job, everyone. Throw it high. Good job, Brandon. Can we pull her a circular? Yes, in a circular motion. Good job. Stay on your spot. Stay on your spot. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, Emily? Here, oh. look. Try it. Let me see. Do this. Two up, catch the one, okay? Everyone understand? Nice job, Emily. 